Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 3 of my MacBook modding series. Today I'll be doing some software tweaks and undervolting to ensure that the CPU is maintaining maximum performance. Start by downloading CPU Core Parking Manager and Throttle Stop. They're the two programs we need today. Okay, so the point of downloading CPU Core Parking Manager is that it will ensure all the cores are active and the CPU is always in boost clock. So start by dragging the core parking index all the way up, the turbo boost index all the way up, oops, and the frequent frequency scaling index all the way up. So it will it will say that core three and four is parked. We want to ensure that they are always enabled. So click apply and you can see they are always enabled to provide that extra oomph to your games. Okay, so let's exit that and let's go to throttle stop. So what, what this program does is um, ensure that uh, all your cores are never throttling. So we do that by Undervolting. So you go to this FIVR Fiverr tab, click it, and you'll be met with all this information. Don't stress out, I'll guide you. So, as you can see, the turbo ratio limits. You need to click that max. Uh, this is the cache ratio. The cache ratio is basically the speed of the CPU cache. We want to maintain maximum performance, so it's 26. And click apply. Now we need to do the CPU core voltage. So this is undervolting. So as you can tell, all the laptops that are currently shipped uh, will have a little bit extra voltage to put through th the CPU to man maintain stability, right? So we want to fine tune that. So less voltage means less less temperatures. So that's good for our CPU. So we want to click unlock adjustable voltage. And we just want to play around with the offset voltage button. Okay. This this CPU is relatively low powered, so anything high powered with like six cores, um you can do 100 megahertz overclock, right? 100 megahertz offset, right? This is a relatively low processor. So I'm just going to go with about 50 for now. And click apply. CPU cache. I want to go about 25. Intel GPU, this is the big one. I want to go about 50 again. And you don't have to touch anything else. Analog IO system agent, no, just don't don't touch anything. Click OK. And the last step you want is the clock mo modulation. Ensure that all of this is at a hundred percent. Set multiply, ensure that this is all the way up. Disable power saver if you have it on. Don't click disable turbo because that will disable your turbo. Um, and man, just copy me and make sure that all these ticks are in place. Go to limits. Untick all these. And as you can see, my temperatures are already dropping. And look at my clock speed. Before it was at, I think, 1.8 gigahertz. And now it's at close to 2.5 so click save and we will run a stress test as you can see the stability is pretty good actually so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more episodes of macbook modding see ya